may peace be on all of you myself dr majid khan associate professor loknate dr j d pawar college of pharmacy kadwan nashik today we have to discuss about cardiotonic in this video we only cover chemistry and sar of cardiotonic so now let us start cardiotonic so the definition of cardiotonic these are the agent which increase force of contraction and it is used in treatment of congestive heart failure cardioglycoside are the important class of naturally occurring drug whose action include both beneficial and toxic effect on heart their desirable cardiac action is of particular benefit in treatment of congestive heart failure and associated edema and their preparation are used as a medicinal agent as well as poison if we see the chemistry of cardiac glycoside so it is the basic structure features so it consists of two part that is sugar part and non sugar part the non sugar part is called as a glycon part so it is the basic structure of a glycon part and this a glycon part of cardiac glycoside is a is contain steroidal nucleus with unique set of fused ring so here there are four ring ring a ring b ring c and ring d so if we see in this structure the ring ab and the ring cd are cis fused if we see the a and b ring so consider the common bond between this a and b ring and see the substituent attached to this common bond so here in case of a b ring in on the common bond there is a ch3 group above the above the ring that is ch3 group denoted by solid line which is called as above the plane if you see below there is a hydrogen on fifth position it also denoted by hydrogen so these two group that is ch3 group and hydrogen on the common bond is above the plane <clears throat> therefore it is called as cis fused similarly if we see the c and d ring consider the common bond it also contain ch3 group above the plane on 14 carbon hydroxyl group denoted by solid line that is above the plane therefore this c d ring is also cis fused if we see b and c ring take common bond so in that common bond hydrogen is denoted by dotted line that is below the plane and another hydrogen is denoted by solid line above the plane so here two hydrogen one is above the plane one is below the plane therefore it considered as trans fused so in short this steroidal nucleus consist of four ring a b c d in that ring a b and ring c d are cis fused while b and c ring are trans fused the steroidal nucleus also contain in most of cases two methyl group at carbon 10 and at carbon 13 there is hydroxyl group also located at carbon 3 so if here in this structure at carbon 3 there is or means r equal to glycon part which we see next so on third carbon there will there is a hydroxyl group present whereas <clears throat> on this hydroxyl group on carbon 13 sugar molecule is attached so it is the point of attachment of a glycon part with glycon part that is sugar part in addition if there is a additional hydroxyl group present on at carbon 14 this hydroxyl group on at carbon 14 is normally unsubstituted however additional hydroxyl group may be found at carbon 4 12 and carbon 16 the presence of the presence and absence of these additional hydroxyl group distinguish the important gene that is digitoxygenin digoxygenin and jetoxygenin 
so depending upon the presence of hydroxyl group there is a three geni before that one point is also there here the presence of lactone ring so this lactone ring is present on a glycon part steroidal ring at carbon 17 so here there is a denoted by r on 17th carbon there is a lactone ring lactone ring means it is a five member ring so depending upon this lactone ring <coughs> in case of glycoside which is obtained from the plant origin it consists of lactone ring and this glycoside is called as cardinaloids so here r equal to five member ring which is a lactone ring and mainly the compound which is obtained from the plant source it is called as cardinaloids the compound obtained from animal source then it contain six member ring it is called as pyran ring and this compound is called as bifidinoloids so based on the source from plant source the compound contains five member ring that is lactone ring and the compound is called as cardinaloids and the compound obtained from the animal source it consists of six member ring called as pyran ring and the compound is called as bifidinoloids <coughs> then the so presence of additional hydroxyl group distinguish the different geni so there are three types of geni as shown in this structure digitoxygeny digoxygeny and digitoxygeny so in case of digitoxygeny digoxygeny and digitoxygeny two hydroxyl group are common that is on carbon 3 and on carbon 14 so these two hydroxyl group are common in these three structures carbon uh, hydroxyl group on carbon 3 hydroxyl group on carbon 14 these two hydroxyl group are common in this three structure but in addition to this hydroxyl group there is also ad additional hydroxyl group present for example if we see the structure of digitoxygeny so it consists of two hydroxyl group at carbon 3 and at carbon 14 but in case of digoxygeny that is second structure digoxygeny it contain additional hydroxyl group at carbon 12 apart from carbon 3 and carbon 14 so here in case of digoxygeny one hydroxyl group additional present on carbon 12 so it digit and digoxygeny consists of total three hydroxyl group that is hydroxyl group on three position hydroxyl group on 12 position and hydroxyl group on 14 position in case of digit uh, detoxygeny that is third structure it also contain one hydroxyl group on carbon 16 so it also contain total three hydroxyl group that is hydroxyl group on third position hydroxyl group on 14th position and hydroxyl group on 16th position so it is a in short summary in tabulate form so these are the three genin digitoxygeny digoxygeny and digitoxygeny so in case of digitoxygeny two hydroxyl group are common in all three that is on third and 14th in case of digoxygeny there is an additional hydroxyl group on carbon 12 in case of digitoxygeny there is a hydroxyl group on carbon 16 so it is the about the a glycon part of cardiac glycoside now see the second part that is sugar part of cardiac glycoside so this sugar part attached to a glycon part through the hydroxyl group of a glycon part on carbon 3 the number of the number and identity of sugar vary from glycoside to glycoside the most common sugar found in cardiac glycoside is d glucose d digitoxose d ramnose 
etc. This sugar found in beta configuration. Generally, this sugar are found in beta configuration. In some cases, sugar exists in acetylated form. Acetylated form means acetyl group is present on this sugar moiety, and this acetyl group is responsible for lipophilic character and pharmacokinetic of entire glycoside. So it is the chemistry of cardiac glycoside. So in summary, cardiac glycoside consists of two part, that is a glycon part, that is called as non-sugar part, and it consists of steroid nucleus. And second part is sugar part, also called as glycon part. So it is the total structure of general structure of cardiac glycoside so if we see in orange color it is a a glycon part in pink color r is given means it lactone ring is there in green part it is a sugar part so this sugar and non sugar part attach with each other through the hydroxyl group of a glycon part on carbon 3 so it is a chemistry of cardiac glycoside now the next point is structural activity relationship of cardiac glycoside so here the first point is the sugar moiety appear to be important only for partitioning and kinetic of action it possesses no biological activity so the sugar part of cardiac glycoside having no biological activity but it is responsible for their pharmacokinetic activity or partitioning that is solubility important then the second point is the backbone u shape of steroid nucleus appear to be very important so here the steroid ring that is a glycon part of cardiac glycoside is important and as we seen in chemistry of a glycon part the ab and ab ring is cis fused cd ring is cis fused and bc ring is transfused so structure with cd transfuse are inactive so if we change the configuration of that lactone and that the steroidal ring there should be less inactive less active compound See. now third point conversion of ab cis to trans leads to mark dropping activity so as we discussed earlier if we change the configuration of abcd ring then compound activity is less fourth point lactone alone when not attached to steroidal skeleton are not active so the lactone ring which is normally present on carbon 17 if it does not directly attach to steroidal ring then the compound is inactive compound next point the unsaturated 17 lact 17 lactone play an important role in receptor binding so the lactone ring which is present on the carbon 17 of a glycon part of steroid a cardiac glycoside is important for receptor binding so saturation of this lactone ring dramatically reduce the biological activity so in cardiac glycoside the lactone ring is as a unsaturated means it contain double bond if we reduce or we convert this double bond of lactone ring into single bond that is saturation then it reduces the activity so in short the lactone ring contain double bond if we convert this double bond into single bond the activity is decreases next point the lactone ring is not absolute required required for the activity so cardiac glycoside mainly contain lactone ring but it is not important for activity if we replace this lactone ring with alpha beta unsaturated nitrile that is c double bond c cn group then the biological 
there is a little or no loss of biological activity. So lactone ring may be replaced with alpha beta unsaturated nitrile group. The open chain analog with alpha beta saturation are also active. The substitution can be two types. Here X may be oxygen or nitrogen. So it is a general structure. So here lactone of uh, on 17th position of O glycon part in place of lactone ring there is a alpha beta unsaturation group is present and X may be oxygen or may be nitrogen but the compound where the X equal to nitrogen exhibit the high activity so it is about the chemistry and SAR of cardiac glyphosate in next video we proceed further on this topic thank you thank you very much